it's Robin and welcome back to my channel today is day 11 of Calabmas we've got one day left after today so yay we, we made it you guys we made it through but today's collab is with Hangry Harto and for this collab we decided to build a Christmas or holiday cabin and well no we decided on home I decided to build a cabin uh, just because I don't know I think Christmas homes I think cabin I don't know why but actually I do know why but anyway I'll get to that in just a minute. But that's what we decided to do. So be sure to check out Hangry Harto's channel for her build. Um, I'll have all the links in the description for you guys. But um, onto this build. I believe it's just called Christmas Cabin because, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm not good at choosing names. So yeah, it's just called Christmas Cabin. It's on my gallery if you'd like to download it. There's no custom content. Um, it is on a 30 by 20 lot, I believe. I built it on um the lot in Windenburg rustic residence i think is the name of it i'm sorry if you can hear that i don't know what my dog's doing but i hear him in my headphones but um the price of this lot is 44,605 simoleons and i think it's really cute i like the way it turned out um i decided to go with the cabin uh just because whenever we first came up with the idea um i, I immediately knew i wanted to build a cabin uh just because i was planning on doing like a christmasy cabin anyway uh just i don't know why i just think cabin when i think christmas but uh yeah I, I i liked it and i decided to go with like a little loft area upstairs and i think uh yeah i was gonna make that like a kid's bedroom but instead i decided to just do um like a little gaming area i believe i don't know yeah i think there's only one bedroom in this so i guess it's just like a couple's Christmas cabin <laughs> um, yeah so there's only one bedroom and it's that big room over there off to the side but I decided to go with a cabin because um, I know I've mentioned in a few videos before but I take pictures sometimes in real life uh, I'm really into photography I mostly do like portraits and stuff um, yeah I'm not like professional or anything I just you know learned some things over the past like 10 years 11 years something like that so uh yeah i've gotten pretty good at it and so like family and friends asked me to do like their family portraits and stuff so my cousin um <laughs> she's she's uh, usually my biggest client um she always asked me to do her family portraits and everything for all of her kids um she has three kids i've done their like birthday pictures their newborn pictures etc and so one year for Christmas, she asked me to do their family portraits and where we live, there's like this little um, cabin rental place. Um, I believe there's like four or five cabins that you can rent. They're all different sizes. And that's where we chose to do her pictures that year. And so um, usually we just do pictures outside, but since it's cold and she does have small children, we decided to do them inside that year. So um, the place that um, the cabins are the owners will usually if the cabins aren't being rented out um, they'll let you take pictures inside as long as you clean up afterwards and everything you don't make a mess obviously so um, yeah we decided to take some inside and they usually have the cabins like decorated for Christmas they've got Christmas trees and everything and it's really cute and it makes them really happy and so it's just like a little vacation thing I guess you can stay out for the weekend or whatever um, for Christmas and it was just really cute so that's kind of what inspired me to build this and they did um the one we were in i think it was just um i think it was 
two or three bedrooms, I believe. But um, one of the bedrooms was like this little loft area upstairs. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what inspired this build and what made me want to do like a Christmassy cabin. I don't remember exactly what it looked like because it was a couple of years ago and we didn't really explore the cabin. Uh, we just took some pictures in front of the fireplace and decorated it a little bit. So uh, yeah, I just kind of went with what I thought, you know, things would have looked like. But I really like it. It makes me happy. And <laughs> It is a pretty big cabin and everything, and I believe I did put toys and stuff under the tree for kids. So I'm not sure why I only get decided to do one bedroom. I probably should have done more than one bedroom, but you know, I, I guess I just wasn't thinking. But I like the way it turned out. I think it's really cute, and I don't know what my dog's doing. I think he's trying to jump on the bed. I can hear him. Or he might be trying to get out. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I just like trapped him in our room because I have to have the door closed because the fan's on in the other room and you can hear it. So anyway, I'm sorry if you can hear him like scratching or something. Murphy, what are you doing? Come here, puppy. I don't know what he's doing. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I did place toys around the tree. I guess since it is like a little vacation-y home, I don't know, maybe, well, it's not really meant to be a vacation home. It's just meant to be a home, but I, I don't know. I, I should have added another bedroom. I realize that now. I, I think at this point I was still originally planning on building the little loft area as like the kids bedroom area and I was gonna put a couple of beds up there but then I decided at the last minute just turn it into a little gaming area so yeah this, this thought would pretty, probably work in um, Granite Falls as well because it is like a little cabiny area like a little outdoorsy place so yeah you can just remove all the Christmas decorations and just add it to Granite Falls if you'd like and just make it like a little rental property that it won't matter about the tree because <laughs> it won't be Christmas all year round so you can remove it but anyway uh yeah I, I, this is the first time I believe I've actually got to use that little coat thing that came with seasons I really like it and I've wanted to use it so many times so I've never built anything where I could actually use it or that I remembered it so I was really excited about it because I wanted to use it so much in a lot of my builds but I never had the space for it or it never really fit into the layout or anything. So I was really excited about using that. Of this entire build that was the thing I was most excited about was that coat rack thing. So I was very happy about it. Um, the bedroom's not really decorated too much for Christmas. I think I put a Christmas tree in it and that's probably about it just because usually you don't decorate bedrooms and stuff for Christmas anyway, like bedrooms and bathrooms. Um, so I didn't want to go too crazy with the Christmas decorations. Um, I mostly just decorated the living area and the exterior just because, um, at least where I'm from, that's usually how they decorate for Christmas. Uh, they don't usually decorate all the bedrooms and everything, you know, like people do on YouTube for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> And then that, that painting that I love, I used it. Uh, it came with Seasons, I believe. It makes me very happy. But, uh, yeah, it, it just makes me about happy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I say that a lot, I'm sorry. And there is uh, two bathrooms. Yeah, I did put a bathroom upstairs because, like I said, I was originally going to make that um, like a kid's bedroom. And I just had that little um, poochy out area. But I believe I just copied and pasted this bathroom and placed upstairs uh, just because it was easier. And I just really hate decorating bathrooms, so I did just copy and paste this bathroom. It's kind of a cop out, but you know, I was I was short on time, and it was the easiest thing to do. And I just really hate bathrooms, so here I am, just copy and paste, and then deleting all the other things that need to be deleted. And I think one of the chimneys got deleted as well, and I was too lazy to place it back. But it's fine, you know, the one's still there, so it got the job done. And then uh, upstairs, I believe I just put like the little uh, don't wake the llama table and I think I put a chest table. I'm not 100% sure. And a bookshelf just because I wanted like a little entertainment area for your Sims. Um, I, I guess I was kind of building this with like, this was just like a little vacation property in mind, probably. Because um, I didn't put a TV or anything that you would usually have on like a home lot. So uh, yeah, you guys probably just have to do like a few renovations and everything if you would like to make it into a home lot um, for those purposes. Anyway, but anyway, the screenshots are coming up. Be sure to check out Hangry Harto's channel 
um, for her build. I have all the links in the description for you guys, so it's easy. Just click and you'll be taken right to her channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!